right. Uh, it's Friday late afternoon and I'm actually on my way to a real race. Um, the Barkley Fall Classic 50k at Frozen Head State Park in Tennessee. So anyway, uh, continuing on my drive and hoping to um, get to where I'm going in about an hour or so and then uh, get settled in and get my stuff ready. So later on I'll probably uh, kind of do another recording to uh, see what all I need to pack for the morning. All right. All right, so I finally settled into my campground and now it's time to review what's needed to uh, start and finish a Bar Barkley Fall Classic 50k. So this is, like I said earlier, my third attempt and hopefully my third finish as well. And some of these things are new, most of them are tried and true, so I'll just go through it. So you've got your slightly used and broken in trail shoes right there. My personal favorite are the Ultra Lone Peaks for just about everything on trails. Um, little hat uh, to protect yourself from the sun. Trust me, you'll need it when you're out here at Frozen Head in September. Some comfy socks. I like the CP Merino wool socks. And while I haven't been wearing calf sleeves a lot lately, I always do at the Fall Classic. And that is purely for protection from the briars that we'll be encountering a plenty, especially on one treacherous section, I lovingly referred to as Rad Jaw, which can have up to nine foot tall briars for a one mile stretch and a 2,000 foot climb. So you try to protect yourself as best as possible. Um, got some shorts, button up short sleeve because you want to look the part. Uh, my favorite new buff right here. Uh, if you can read it, then enough said. Um, little improvement over my last attempt, I actually have Kevlar sleeves, courtesy of my buddy Paul. Um, I'm hoping they'll protect my arms a bit better than the last time I did this. I was cut up pretty bad, so hopefully that'll soften the blow. I'll carry them in my pack for those treacherous sections. I'm still undecided on the gloves, either some old school leather gloves or some Kevlar gloves that I used before. Leather gloves may be better in protecting my hands when we're trying to pull briars apart to go through or under or over or whatever that may be. Um, I'm allergic to yellow jackets and they're, they have been known to be yellow jackets on this course. Uh, Carrie Long can tell a good story about that. So I'm carrying my EpiPen and some Benadryl, just in case. One of the mandatory items is a headlamp, in case you get lost out there and stay longer than you were supposed to. Compass is not mandatory, but highly recommended, especially since we're being handed the map uh, tomorrow morning, right before the race start, to know where we're going. Uh, another mandatory item, and mine is, is on this vest, is actually uh, an emergency whistle right here and what else we got salt super important when you're running in a hot climate at least for me i found having sufficient amount of sodium potassium and whatnot everybody uses different combinations super important to prevent muscle cramps at least for me of course people have different opinions on that um taking my trusty one of my trusty gopros there to hopefully record some of the carnage um, hey, dude wipes, enough said, chapstick and the other chapstick, very important when you're running ultras, especially when you're out there longer than usual. Um, for nutrition, there's no aid stations, so we have to carry everything we need ourselves. Uh, I'm hoping to be done and out in 10 hours, you never know, maybe less, maybe more, but I figured 2,000 calories should suffice because I don't usually take in more than 200 calories and again people are different but anything more than 250 for the average person is usually you're not really able to process those type of calories even though you're burning way more than that you can only replenish about I think 250 um, uh, while you're being active so that's kind of my guideline that I'm going with 
I usually stick around 180 to 200. So I'm going with uh, 2000 calories, hoping that that'll get me through. And those calories come in the forms of different hydration mixes that I've pre-portioned um, per bottle. And then I have my favorite gels right in here. There's about six Spring Energy Canterbury gels in here uh, because gel wrappers are frowned upon at this race. And then I have a couple of these resealable Spring Energy Wolf Packs. They're oatmeal food energies and they pack 300 calories each. So to me, that's a perfect mix of nutrition right there. I don't like to chew a lot, especially when it's hot. So it's, I try to get most of my nutrition through liquids. So that's why you see all these drink mixes. Uh, and then I'm carrying three soft flasks, one in the back as a backup. Um, and I'll make the call between the water stops if I need to carry three bottles full with uh, fluids or just two bottles. One will always uh, just be water. I try to kind of mix it up. Um, what else we got? Of course, a pack to carry it all. I opted to go with one of my older packs that I'm not going to be afraid to shred to pieces out there. It's a five liter pack and I tested it at home to make sure everything fits and it did all fit at home. So hopefully uh, that's also the case um, when I try to put it all back in here tonight, especially filling up the bottles uh, so I'm ready to go in the morning. Um, packet pickup is in the morning. Um, probably do a, well definitely do some pour over coffee in the morning I don't usually eat before a race I don't think that's going to be any different tomorrow now if I do wake up early I may eat a banana nothing wrong with banana and um, it's just how I roll I just don't like eating a lot before the race and then I start usually taking the nutrition pretty early on but most of my training runs 3 3 30 4 hours are fasted so there's no reason to do it any different on race day other than making sure that you take in calories uh, continuously as you're out there. Um, all right, and now I'm gonna try to put it all into the pack. And all that's left to do now is hydrate, 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 and hopefully get a few hours of sleep. <laughs> 